today we will be taking a look at chapter 9 uh, input and output I presume most of us would already have some experience on uh, some of the codes that we will be talking about soon okay. so first we will take a look at the uh, output and input stream well in, uh, in this case uh, we will talk about output stream uh, this is a class output and it provides several overloads method um, and uh, some of the most common uh, code that we use is print and print line uh, print data such as integer, boolean, float etc and um, in this case, uh, system.out, uh, which is basically a predefined uh, output stream. Yeah. Uh, usually, it will print out uh, on the computer screen. Okay. Next, we have uh, input stream. Uh, this case is to achieve uh, input um, from uh, the keyboard, touch screen, or maybe for another file. Okay. Um, it will basically uh, read and uh, provide several overload method. Okay. Uh, the common uh, code is uh, system dot in uh, predefined input. Okay. Uh, this is basically uh, input from the keyboard. Next, we have a uh, byte stream or trope, trope clause or hand scanner. A byte stream from the name we see uh, is 8 bit. Okay. Uh, the C program will be read in 8 bit ASCII. Okay. Right. And, um, and it will be written an integer instead of a byte. So by using the input stream uh, program, uh, it will uh, append the cross and throw I/O exception. In this case, the definition uh, of main dot bracket. And next, we have the throw class clause. Um, this basically tell the Java machine. That uh, it will exit uh, unexpected with some exception, maybe some criteria in the program. Also, uh, if you see from some of our previous lab, like, for example, we have been using a scanner, okay, it's basically to initialize an object. Okay. 9.2 we're talking about. Uh, output formatting here we have the common uh, printf statement okay. where we will use the format specifier in this case uh, percent %c is a character then we have uh, decimal octal hexadecimal float okay. uh, scientific notation string send and New line character. Moving on, we have uh, floating point values. Um, here, the code uh, basically is to uh, specify the numbers. For example, in this case, uh, space in between okay, and decimal space. Okay. In this case, uh, seven decimal space. Uh, prior and two decimal space at the back okay. uh, with okay, we have position and also flag in the integer values uh, so as a sub specifier uh, in terms of width okay. also decimal for example 7% digit 
say we have seven space in front you want to put a plus or additional uh, character there and followed by okay, decimal or move next we have string next. Uh, also with width uh, and precision flag in the subset specifier here we have uh, 20 in this case space by the rest next we have uh, flushing output uh, in this case uh, 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 most program uh, it will uh, uh, write the content of the buffer of the system out to the computer uh, to clear the memory um, usually uh, uh, it will happen when uh, in terms of output okay there are times uh, uh, you are required to combine the program inside with the inputted data uh, in this case we are trying to check whether the individual is less than 21 uh, in this case uh, Sally is less than 21 uh, so there is a minor she's a minor and uh, they, they already declared in the program and it will be combined together okay. uh, you will be using uh, import java dot string writer and printer writer print writer sorry. 9.4 uh, we have uh, file input um, sometimes uh, programmers are required to read from another file uh, in this case numfile.txt uh, we have two integer okay um, basically the code you'll be using is uh, file byte stream with the new file input string okay. uh, here the example uh, they'll be reading uh, the two number and uh, summation be printed out Next, we have an uh, example of uh, reading. Uh, let's say we have uh, um, a list of uh, numbers to be read. Uh, my file of text um, has next integer. Uh, we we'll read the numbers in the file until uh, the end and it will return a false. Okay. In this case, this is an example. And last but not least, we have a uh, file output. Here uh, we have the file output stream. Uh, open, opening a file output stream for writing. Okay. Uh, here you have to create a file. Okay. Using print writer. Okay. Write the string hello world. Okay. And closing the file stream. So uh, that's pretty much it for chapter 9. Uh, if you have any question, please email me or you can set up an appointment to see me. Uh, stay safe and thanks. Bye-bye.